and Democratic vice presidential candidate Tim Kaine holding a rally at the Kendall campus of Miami-Dade College tonight as the latest poll has Clinton and Trump in a dead heat. CBS 4's Jim DeFeedy spoke exclusively with Tim Kaine after the event. And Jim, he realizes how important this is for oh, both campaigns. Uh, he absolutely does. And I spoke to him about what it is at stake, but I also asked him about that very thing you just talked about, how Donald Trump was claiming that he might bring Jennifer Flowers to the debate to rattle Hillary Clinton and what it said about the state of this race. Yeah, well, what it said to me about Donald Trump was, I'm viewing this as kind of part of the entertainment industry. This is deadly serious. I mean, this is deadly serious. We've got all of these challenges at home and abroad. The good thing is America can always solve our challenges if we just let everybody around the table together and don't divide against one another. So the fact that he was doing that to me, that was just kind of par for the course. This is like it's a reality TV show. No, this is not that. This is the uh, trying to be the commander in chief of the president, the most important tone nation on earth. Tone is going to be important in this debate. You've talked to it will. Uh, Secretary Clinton about the tone and the, how to strike that during this debate. Talk yeah. to me a little bit about that. And I have to prepare for my own debate uh, in, in eight or nine days. Look, you have to um, defend yourself if somebody says something about you that's not true. You also have to draw clear distinctions between policies. But at the end of the day, what's important for us is to have a tone that's consistent with our vision. Tim Kaine in South Florida, Florida earlier today. So if you, if you look at each campaign, mm -hmm. what are they trying to achieve tomorrow night? You know, Donald Trump wants to try to find those moments. He's got Roger Ailes in his corner and is just trying to find that little something that'll propel him. Look, and same and for Hillary Clinton, she wants to get substance and she also wants to try to pin Donald Trump down as much as possible. For both these candidates, there's going to be a lot of eyeballs who have never really paid attention to this race very much. They get to make a lot of opinions right now. A hundred million people watching. You talk about sort of the expectation game mm -hmm. and each side trying to play them down a little bit. Who has more to lose or gain tomorrow night? Uh, I think Hillary Clinton has, uh, has the most to lose in that she's starting to falter a little bit in the polls. She needs to have a good night. If she doesn't, Trump continues the momentum. All right, we'll talk more about it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Jim DeFeedy, thanks Looking very much. <laughs> Me too. The first presidential debate will be held at Hofstra University, Long Island, New York, Hempstead. <laughs> you can watch the debate live from 9 to 11 p.m. right here on CBS4, followed by the CBS4 News at 11.